Welcome back to Bearcat Update, sponsored by the hardworking people of St. Francis and Bearcat Athletics. Well, you'll be surprised. It didn't take any roses, chocolates, money, or anything else nice that I could think of to get one of Northwest's primetime dance team members to appear on the show. All I had to do was ask and got a very sweet yes from a very sweet and talented Bearcat stepper. Here's the interview. Yeah, and I, I totally think cows would just be more efficient if they had five legs. What, are we on right now? Oh, hey, uh, welcome to One on One with the Bearcat. Uh, I'm here with Christy Cole of the Bearcat Steppers, one and only dance team of Northwest Missouri State. Christy, how you doing? I'm doing great, Joe. Thanks for having me today. Thanks for coming. Thanks yeah. for chatting with us. Uh, so how, how are the Steppers doing nowadays? We've been pretty busy lately, actually. Yeah. Um, we have practice every day during the week, and we've been doing all of the home games. We don't dance at every halftime, so it's not as busy as normal, mm. but we're still very busy, and we're fundraising and getting ready for nationals. Yeah. Is, is that a change this year? Because uh, did you dance at all the half times last year? Because I didn't get to make it to every single game. We, For the most part, we danced at every halftime, but um, this year, I know they're trying to get more new things to come in, and Ooh. it's really fun. Like, did you see the extreme team and stuff? I did see the, they, yeah. they were doing the flips and all that, yeah. right? Yeah, uh -huh. they jumped over us. Yeah, I didn't see yeah. that part. Well, it was fun. It was fun. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they've got a lot of new things coming in. So we don't get to dance it as many, but when we do, we're really thankful and stuff. And it's cool. fun. So Cool. So because of all these, like, new little, like, shows they're doing, yeah. I, mean, I mean, did you, they're, they're getting more and more extravagant. Oh, yeah, totally. Sooner or later, I think they'll probably bring in Circus Delay, have some, like, clowns just flying in from everywhere. You know, whatever makes Bearcat basketball happy. We do it. We do the circus. That's delay. what's important. Steppers would. But um, <laughs> so how, how, how big is the stepper uh, uh, team usually? What size you guys like to be at? Well, we usually like to stay under 14 people. Yeah. It's, it's all pretty much about how many uniforms we have. Yeah. I know, it's kind of weird. But um, right now we have 12 girls. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really good number to have. It's not too many. It's not too few. So it's perfect. Yeah. And everybody gets along really well. It's great. So it can vary from year to year, just yeah, whatever is yeah. best for the team. We started off with um, a few more this year. One girl graduated at semester, mm -hmm. so it, it kind of varies, but. That's good. And so when, when you guys are playing out your dances, because I've seen you practicing, where, where do you guys yeah. practice at again? Um, it's in Martindale, the yeah. third floor, in the dance oh, studio. Oh, with the, yeah, the dance studio. Yeah, oh, with nice. the mirrors and everything. It's a lot of fun, and it's yeah. perfect, so. Yeah, I, I actually took a class called Social Dance. Those are the kind of classes I, I take you. up here. And yes, yeah, you took that. I'm in fun. trouble now. I didn't even recognize that you took that class with me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a very nice dance floor and all that. Yeah, it's really nice. It's nice that they let nice us and, practice and, there. And nice and uh, it's, it seems waxed. You guys ever slip on that? It seems very kept up. Actually, some days it's yeah. a little more sticky in there than others. Like when it's humid, yeah. it's kind of hard to turn on and stuff, so but it's nice. So is dancing a very uh, high injury sport that you guys do? You it have depends. Lots of injuries? Yeah, we, we do get a lot of injuries. A lot of times it's like ankles or I have bad knees, so oh, my yeah. knees go out a lot. Some girls have just random things that happen. Has there ever just been a girl doing a spin, put the leg out, and just nailed another girl across the face? Oh, yeah. Well, not across the face, <laughs> but actually at practice the other day, um, we have one girl that's really tall, and she was doing the spins with your legs straight out, and she yeah. totally whacked another girl. It was kind of funny, but nice. scary. <laughs> it's when you wish you had the camera. Maybe make some money off America's Funniest Home Videos. Well, some some of our dances will practice. Um, yeah. We'll tape them while we practice, like to watch them. Yeah. And a few girls have fallen when we were taping those, so it's pretty funny. You make any uh, highlight reels at the end of the year, just showing all the falls and all that? No, but that's a good idea. You guys should. We should, we should. Maybe put that goofy music to it, like, da -da 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 -da. oh, she slipped. <laughs> oh, womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp. Yeah, exactly. There you got to put the womp, womp, womp in there. So <laughs> when you guys are practicing your dances and coming up with them, uh, do, you, do you keep those dances throughout the year, or how, can, how much does it change? Um, well, every game, well, every set of games, like a boys mm -hmm. and girls game, we like to try to have a new dance. So it's something different for every, everyone to watch. But we sometimes reuse dances, like if we don't have time to make one up really quick. Yeah. Because it's a lot to put a dance together. So. Yeah, I can understand. It's, yeah. it's a lot to put like a show together, for example. Oh, yeah, I totally, can totally. 
being so in front of a, the whole Bearcat arena and trying to come up with the, all the new dances all yeah. the time. You guys are watched. Like, I, I've been in the football games, and when they say Bearcat, uh, steppers are coming out on the field. It's like everyone just hushes, sits oh. down, you know, and gets the legs together. It's like, oh, yeah. What's oh. going on? So no. what, do you, what, what, what do you and what do you think your team likes doing the most? Basketball games or football games? What's the best, like, environment to dance in? That's, that's a tough question. You yeah. can't ask that. Well, I don't know. Football, you know, everybody's there, and it's a blast and stuff. Yeah. So we like that. But lately with basketball games, there's been so many people there. It's just so much fun, too. I was, you know, I was watching a couple highlight reels, and uh, about half the highlights are actually just of the fans going nuts. Oh, yeah. It's so much fun. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's awesome to see that. Um, I mean, but, uh, one, one of the biggest things that I wanted to know about the team was it seems like just to get your uniforms, you know, everything costs money. How, how do you guys fund um, Take care of yourselves. Well, we actually don't have any funding as a squad, so we fundraise everything. On your own? Yes. Wow. Um, this year was the first year each girl got a small scholarship to go towards classes, but um, yeah. as for fundraising, we just do tons of different things. Like this year we made calendars and... Let's see, what else have we done? We've done a lot of things. Um, coming up, we're actually having a dance for the middle schoolers. Yeah. So it will be fun, and I think mm -hmm. a lot of them, I've talked to some of the middle schoolers. That sounds bad. But they, they are they're they're excited about it. They're who I hang out with on the weekends. It. I just I hang out with the middle schoolers. Yeah, um, yeah. you know. They, but, they're, they're an awesome crowd. Like, oh, yeah. Middle schoolers, they go absolutely crazy. Yeah, so we're going to have a dance yeah. for them. And... um. We actually have a variety show, like we put a bunch of dances together and we have um, a bunch of like other acts come in and dance. Mm -hmm. So we're having that on, I think, March 7th. So okay. People should come. We actually do nice. a dance with a bunch of guys too that we ask. Nice. Do you want to be my partner this year? Am I being asked right now if I would be your partner for this dance? The guy girl dance at the variety show. Would you like to be my partner, I, Joe Machado? I would love to be your partner. You guys just witnessed it live. I <laughs> just got a partner. Can I call it a date just so I, because my friends are kind of worried about me because I never get dates. Can I just be like, I'm up for she's it, my <laughs> partner date? But you know what? I'm going to throw this on you though. It's called Five Questions, one on one with me. We're going to go see how many you can answer because you only get three seconds to oh answer gosh. each one. Okay. Ready? First question Who is the head coach of the basketball team? Oh no, this is horrible. Time's up. Second question. Capital of Russia. I have no clue. <laughs> Stop this. Three. Third question. Who let the dogs out? Joe Machvecchio. The answer is the Baja men, not me. Oh, come on. Nah, first fourth one. Who won the Super Bowl? The Colts? Nice. You got that one. That's one out of five. Last one. What's my favorite ice cream flavor? Rocky Road. That is actually my favorite ice cream flavor. That is I'm three. sorry, I didn't know the coach. She gets two points for that one. But we're going ahead and wrap this show up for today. I'd like to thank our sponsors, St. Francis and uh, Northwest Bearcast, excuse me, BearcatAthletics.com. Just go to that site to find out anything you want about the Bearcats. That's going to be it for Bearcat Update. Check us out every single day, Monday through Thursday, at 7 o'clock, right here on Channel 8. Thanks for watching.